there everyone and welcome back to Vintage Survival. Here we are, we'll get the cultivator hooked up because we have got some contracts to do today. We're in April now so last time we've done a bunch of contracts and got the new additions of the chicken so go over here have a look. How many eggs have we got at the moment? So. 600 litres of eggs, so, yeah, not too bad. Food dough, getting rather low, so, I may want to buy some more food. However, I'll hold off on that for the time being, because I do want to look at getting a new field, so, yeah, they've gone for about half their feed already, so, fair enough. Not too bad. So yeah, we're looking at the bags and that, so bags of chicken feed. Yeah, we're looking at, what, £600 for 600 litres? And I think that is pretty much the best option for us, so yeah, just got these other stuff here we don't need. As for different things out of the road, I may want to look into Things like the artisan and bakery. However, I think to buy enough feed in that, we do need to cut buy another field. So, ideally something with wheat, barley, or sorghum. So, have a look at sorghum. Some of these fields are over here, 22, 24. Any these fields up north? Not really, just the small fields, fair enough. We know we've got this wheat field down here. Wait, is that wheat growing in there? Yeah, that's just been planted, so... It's going to be a while for that wheat to be ready. And yeah, in general, I'm thinking, you know what? Just suck it up. I want to buy a field, so... We can buy 32 or 47 or look at 46. Is that a grass field, I wonder? No, it's just field that has been ploughed, so I may wait for the farmer to plant a crop in there. Can go with 86. But I think, you know what, let's gamble. Let's, let's do a gamble on a field purchase. I did say we was going to look at, I don't know, purchasing a new tractor and that, but at the moment I think fields is going to be what is key for us. So for now we've got these cultivating contracts to do on 86, 87 and 82. So I think that's going to be the best way to start off with is getting all these contracts done. It shouldn't take us too long. I think they'll take us to about dinner time. And then we'll start doing the harvesting on the cornfield. And we won't get that cornfield turned over this month, so we we'll need to think about a crop in that. And I'm generally thinking just putting wheat in. Wheat or sorghum, I think. If we do sorghum, that'd be a good money crop for us. Unless we do, yeah, yeah, I think we do, if we do sorghum, and then we do next time wheat. But anyway, so the core of what we'll be doing with that is, price is decent at the moment, so it's about, I'll say, £100 off of its peak price, but rather than waiting a couple of months for that to peak, I'm just going to sell everything. And, for the first time since we arrived, technically, we'll be using the train. Because, yep, we do have the train as an option. And at the moment, for corn, we're looking at 1400 for earning grant. So, yeah, its peak price in July is around about 1600 quid on average. So, fast guess, maybe, compared to actually now, maybe £200 per thousand or so. Give or take another 10% of profit we can get, but the 
cost of that in comparison to if you put a crop in, like sorghum, it just takes what, four months? So that is June, July, that's halfway through its growth state, so it only makes sense to me personally, it does, so yeah, let's get these contracts done. And then let's start doing the harvesting. contracts completed so what we'll do is we'll put this away so I think for now we'll just put it in storage don't need to worry about repairing it for the time being so there we go we'll pop that down and now I think what we'll do is let's go and buy some chicken feet so actually the good thing that trailer is there so what I can do is go and need to remove that. Uh, what's it? No, no, don't want to move. Oops, uh, do, do want to move the weight around because I want to get that weight on. And then yeah, we'll take this down to the store and get some bags loaded up. So bear with me a sec. Whilst I go and get that sorted. There we go, got the weight, so now let's grab the pickup. Hook it onto the trailer. Take this to the store, because yeah, I'm thinking, well, I've got three grand, so you could potentially get three, up to 3,000 years almost. Oh, what's it, chicken feed? So let's go into our big bags. Go to a chicken feed and purchase five bags. Yeah, I'll we'll get us loaded up onto the trailer, and I think in fairness to that, should fit in to the pen. And the reason why we've got the weight on, because as we learned in the last episode, when I went to do this, two bags with just the, what was it, weeder or cultivator I had on. One more the Iber. Yeah, it was a bit finicky, so let's go and grab these. Park the forks a little bit. There we go. Actually, I think at first didn't need to bring the pickup over, I think in fairness. Well, just try any place. Can we lift all three bags at once? So how heavy are these bags? 
Yeah, 700 kilograms, so... 9 for 2.1 tons. And... Okay, alright, bit of a little... tippiness of it, but... Is that a seat there? Is that a seat back? It is. Why is that there? Not sure. Is that ours or... I'm assuming that's our seat. Makes sense. We'll tip it over. How did that happen? Ah, sure. Well, that makes sense because we're not evenly distributed. Huh? We're in the middle of the road. With all the traffic is lovely. Oh, great. Alright, so that was a disaster. Wait, wait, let's get these chickens fed, so... Be careful, because these bags are in the road. Don't hit any traffic. So I want to see if we can see. Just flip that bag up. There we go. And that's the thing, because the bag's on its... Turn. There we go. You know what? Well, I was going to say, fair as I was going to be happy with one bag, but actually, can we grab it? So, open the forks. Adjust it in. Nope. Nah, I was full. Can we just grab it? But. No, this looks like the answer. So, you know what? Let's try it this way. So I think if we just get hooked onto the trailer, off into the pickup. That's a good thing is the harvester's got the corn header already attached. We do need to pay a grando. Dang it. I completely forgot about that. We need to pay a grand. We need to speak to see if we. Uh, we can't do anything. You know, in debt and that, so... You know what, let's quickly sell some of this. Just so we can get a grand in the bank account. And then, yep, yeah, we'll... Make sure we pay for the convoy. There we go. That is... Enough for us, so six hundred years left over. Before we do anything else, oh, the, dang it, there is a good old fertilizing contract, could have done that. But no, we've done our three contracts already, so we can't do any more contracts this month, so transfer a grant to the bank. And now it's down to a hundred quid, and that's going to be the thing of. As soon as we make money, might as well just spend it because there's no real point. Ooh. What are you doing? Why do a Yui there? What go down that road? I told to do a U-turn. No idea, but yeah, that's, that's what I said so. When we get getting money coming in, I will be spending it because things like rollers we can do with. Get that yield bonus up, and there are some relatively inexpensive, like concrete based rollers. And the fairness of the position of this area here is not the best, so that is one thing. So, I think for now, if I get this on the pavement here or the track, so. 47, which is our new field, is up here. Turn left and across, and there we go. And that's another one thing I like about here. It's relatively flat, I think, but there is a some forestry areas, like some trees over here. But I think there are the trees that, like, we. Ooh, that was a bit sketchy there. Yes, those trees are like the ones we cut down by the main farm area. If that's the case, then ain't going to be worth all that much, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what should we do there. 
turn you off to do burning fuel. So yeah, let's go and grab the convoy. Take it over, it's topped up with fuel. That's one thing we do as well is when we return this, we make sure we top up with fuel. Should, should be careful. And now, let's do the long, let's do the long drive up to the cornfields. And here we are at the cornfield. I've just realised we did not need to do any of that because we could have just completed his contracts. Oh god, it's... <laughs> no, I should have thought about that, but... Yeah, it's that panic there, all I needed a brand. Didn't have a chance to think it much through, so... That uh, has gone and costed us. What has it really? I'm not sure. How much is wheat itself going for? Technically a profit, I'm guessing, but... The mental, the mental cost. I don't think so. Anyways, that mental cost could be alleviated now since we've got our new field here, our first field purchase, and I am absolutely excited. So, or the header. Yeah, if you had a bunch of like exam and the forge, like forge harvester kind of thing. Yeah, we could have done. Soilage and up this, make soilage. And I do forget this is quite loud, so. I do apologise about the audio. Yeah, we are harvesting our first proper harvest for harvesting our own crop for the first time. Well, technically, this is not our first crop since we didn't plant corn, but hey. Purchase the fields and to get any yield bonuses. So, yeah, decent yield bonus. So, overall, we're looking good. So, I have no idea how much we're going to get. Rarely do I harvest corn and that. So, it's going to be interesting, anyways, for the farm and that. So, that's why I just go in, tentatively to rock me around because. Yes, yeah, such a high value to load you with this crop, so I don't like to be in that where I'd be very cautious of where the pipe is coming out. I can get away with it here a little bit, but... Is it a perfect square? That's no, sort of semi-rectangular, so... I think what we'll do is, we harvest it up and down, going this side here. Saves us doing as much turning we need to do. And yeah, should get a decent yield just from here, so not even halfway ahead to it, and we've already got 1500 here, so if I had a guess, 10, 15,000 50, here, or something like that. And if that's the case, 15,000 years of corn. That would net us a rather decent amount of money, about 80 grand or so. Yeah, 50,000 years, 80 grand. Actually, more if we sell it at 30 grand, which we're going to do. So, yeah, let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. And, yeah, we are harvesting our first field.
right, there we go. So we're taking our first loads of corn. Got 11,000 litres here, so we should get... Oh, have a look at that. Yeah, around about 15, 17,000 litres. I should take, could have gone up north, but oh well. So yeah, what we'll do for the time being, we'll put this into the train silo. And then once we've got everything done, we'll take it back. Take this back and then what we'll do is we'll sell the corn. And there we go. So yep, I think it's just in here. Is it here? Is there a silo? Doesn't look like one. And this will go somewhere else, so... Ah, no, this is where we came in from, so we need to go down here. Ah, fair enough. Easily mistaken. Here we go, at the correct green cell point, as we came in a bit... Of, yeah, a bit of pace there we came in on, so... Just assuming we unload the corn. There we go. So yeah, we'll get the final load. Yeah, it should be I'll say about a half a trace load I'll say worth. And then we'll think we'll go and sell this. And there we go, we are done with our first harvest. That's one for the books. And now let's go and empty this so it's half a trailer load plus this, so actually it's almost two trailer loads worth, so twenty thousand litres we've got, so if we look at the prices fourteen hundred, so yeah, not too bad. Should be about 20 grand for us, so that I am not complaining on. So let's get this emptied. And then I'm taking it to the train and sell it. So let's get this hooked on. We'll see it's back later on. There we go. Turn that off and type in. And now let's head to the train silo. There we go, at the silo, so get that unfolded. And how far is the train? 1.7, 1.6 kilometers away, so it's gonna be a little bit of a ways, but let's just wait around and then the train will be here. And there she comes, so She's hopping here, so it's gonna stop here. And all we need to do is just move forwards, select the first car, so there we go. Select our carrot, so not carrots, corn. What did I say carrots? So just over 20,000 euros, that is 22%. And overall, ain't too bad, so... I think for this first run, yeah, we'll just head over. 
and at some point we'll get boosted off the train as apparently that is the local tradition of you get booted from the train, so but yeah, twenty thousand liters, that is pretty much we could buy another field for this, but also a lot of grass that is ready to cut, so Maybe we look at getting a bunker side clamp down the road, so like, when I say down the road, I mean like in the next episode. Or do we buy more fields? That's the thing. We can just rapidly expand. Twenty eight thousand and five hundred quid, so... That's ah, too bad of a hole, so... That is 35 grand for us, we can get us off the heat of the field, so... Now, it does lead us with some options, like... Because we're not about to set you some of these contracts, so... So I'm thinking, if we take on... 56 Parson, that is a huge long field down... By from the shopping at... We could do a contract for that... Yes, it's going to be a lot of work. But if we have a look here, so... Go to our tools, our potato technology. As I said before, we want this and this. So, that is 6200, that is 5600. The best thing is, that does both potatoes and the vegetables, so the new root crop, so... So with this, it does have an option for a hitch, so... Look at getting a trader net. Maybe even like a tandem series trader and just keep on swapping the traders out. But yeah, I don't know. We'll wait until see what May has to offer, so... We'll put the tickets back. And next episode, we'll get some rest. But yeah, generally we'll see where we stand, so... Potentially, I'll say 54 we can buy, so... We can have that wheat to come in. Not only will that get a straw, which we could bait it. And then keep it for the cows. But yeah, I just don't know, so it be... A couple of months away from me, I think they're going to be ready next month, so... Yes, a few options. Got... How much would 89 be? Let's just be a bit stupid here. It's got, I know it's got a root crop in, but... 60 grand in. We're still going to be quite a ways away from that yet, so... Yeah, we've got some options, as we always do. But anyway, since we got this back to the ship, we're going to wash this. And yeah, that is where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you all share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to it, then please consider. But, very to do. Hope you understand. But for now, see you from our Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.